Hey everyone, I am back at Sydney Domestic Airport at Terminal 2 and I'm just about to fly on Tiger Air to Adelaide on board their Airbus A320. It's been more than two years since I flew with Tiger Air, so here is a recent review to show you what to expect when flying with them. This was a Friday afternoon flight and I found the check-in process a breeze. There were no queues and these electronic kiosks made it easy to print out your boarding pass and your luggage tags. There are automated bag drop facilities and again no queues. I just walked up, scanned my boarding pass and off went my bag to get loaded on the plane. Once you have passed through security, Terminal 2 of Sydney Airport has a huge food court with a great selection of food outlets. There is also a great selection of shopping through the terminal to the far end where Tiger Air flights leave from. There are plenty of large windows which give you some great plane spotting from inside the terminal. When boarding, you get the full budget airline experience with no sky bridge to get onto the plane. Instead, you go down the stairs, onto the tarmac, and then up some stairs to board the plane. The Tiger Air A320 seat 180 people. The seats have a width of 18 inches and a pitch of 29 inches, which gives a little bit of leg room. These seats are the smallest of any of the airlines in Australia, but still give a bit of leg room for this two hour flight to Adelaide. Tiger Air have their own in flight magazine, which is the only entertainment on board. There is a Tiger Air app which has streaming entertainment but only on select flights and unfortunately this one was not one of them. Tiger Air only has a cut down snack menu on board. They used to have a full menu with meals to purchase on board but now you can only buy snacks. Meals can be pre-ordered when you check in online which I failed to do so no meal for me today. Now it's time to go so sit back and enjoy the takeoff video. Ladies and gentlemen, your cabin crew will now take you through the safety procedures for this Airbus A320 aircraft. Each aircraft may be different, so we would appreciate your full attention. The safety information card is in your seat pocket. This has the brace position and all the other safety information that's important for you to know in the unlikely event of an emergency. Please take the time to look at it before we take off. Your seat belt must now be fastened low and tight around your hips. If you're yet to do this, your cabin crew are showing you now. Push the two ends together until they click. If you need to adjust, pull the strap until tight. Just lift the buckle up, like this. The cabin will be pressurized during the flight. If oxygen is required, masks like the ones your crew are holding will drop automatically from the panel above you. To start the flow of oxygen, Pull the mask firmly down towards you. Then all you need to do is place it over your nose and mouth, secure with the strap, and continue to breathe normally. Oxygen will flow through the mask even though the bag may not inflate. Captain Kirby, sit up for takeoff.
was starving, expecting to order a meal on this flight, so I ended up ordering off the snack menu. One chicken cup of noodles, and a packet of sour cream and chives crisps, and a nice can of beer to wash it down. Now there is not much to review for a cheap cup of instant noodles, but this was enough to take away my hunger. The chips were okay, more like imitation Pringles than a bag of crisps that I was expecting. Next time I fly with Tiger Air, I will have to pre-order a meal so I can really review their food. So that is my latest review of Tiger Air. I have a few more Tiger Air flight reviews coming soon, so if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel to get notification of the new videos. Thanks for watching and please enjoy the landing into Adelaide Airport.